video, I will demonstrate the new Robust Control feature available in Aspen DMC3 software. This feature prevents oscillatory controller behavior that results when imperfect models are used. In reality, models are never perfect and the optimizer will jump from model to model looking for a better solution. This oscillatory behavior, also referred to as LP flipping or cycling, results in unsettling behaviors. Now, Aspen DMC3 users can enable robust control by setting the robustness factor to a non-zero number. I will demonstrate controller behavior in the presence of model mismatch before and after robust control is enabled. To demonstrate this new robust control feature, we have created a copy of the controller model to represent the plant. The controller model has gain multipliers enabled, so to represent model mismatch, we have disabled the gain multipliers in the plant model. We are now ready to simulate the controller against the plant model to demonstrate the undesirable oscillatory behavior that results from this model inaccuracy. Run the simulation. As the controller tries to move the controlled variables against their limits in order to optimize, cycling occurs. This cycling is the undesirable behavior that robust control prevents. Now, set the robustness factor to a non-zero number to turn on robust control. Run the simulation again. Notice that the oscillations have stopped and the LP targets have stabilized. Additionally, all controlled variables are close to their limits. One thing to note here is that, as always, there are some trade-offs. The CV target values are close to the limits, but not quite there. The amount of give up is based on how large the robustness factor is. The larger the robustness factor, the more the economic give up, yet the more robust the control. In most cases, a small amount of benefit give up is okay to justify a robust controller. This concludes the robust control demo. This feature is now available in Aspen DMC3 software. Thank you for your time.